Why do you think Vogelback has gotten such a long leash? So, Howie? It's a fair question, and it's virtually unprecedented in this age of shorter benches and the need for more versatility to basically have given Vogelback about a week off, you know, because his position as such as a designated hitter, particularly a left-handed designated hitter, dictates that you're going to get a significant amount of at-bats, and that is a position that's supposed to produce runs. Um, I don't know why he's gotten this long a leash, to be honest with you. And, you know, when you consider that there are situations when if you use him at a certain point late in a game, tie game, close game, whatever, if he gets on, you've got to run for him. So that costs you an extra player on the bench. Um, you know, there are a lot of other players who would not necessarily need um, to be replaced at that point in the game if he does reach base. Um, I, I think it's a very fair question, and, and I would think that we'll see a little more definition now and probably beginning as soon as tomorrow night um, to where he gets another chance or a couple of more chances, but I don't know how long you could ride with a roster spot that you know can become a bit of an albatross. Gary, what do you think? I think there are several reasons why he's gotten so, such a long leash. One, because his on-base percentage has still remained high, even though he hasn't produced the power numbers. Two, because his exit velocities have been, remained high, even though he hasn't produced the power numbers. Three, because he's left-handed, and they don't really have a viable replacement for a left-handed DH. I mean, they have Vientos, who's right-handed. They have Alvarez, who can DH, who's right-handed. They signed Luke Voigt, who had a home run in AAA last night, who was right-handed so if they had a viable left-handed dh ph replacement he might have been um uh, in a different position right now but because of the fact that they still believe in his approach and the way he's able to get on base and the way he should be able to eventually produce power numbers um they they've stuck with him and just for reference for people who aren't necessarily as tuned in as we are, but he is hitting 203 with just two home runs so far this season. And he was uh, recently put on mental rest by Buck Walter. That's what Howie was referring to with the, the long break. So, um, Gary, is there somebody that you would rather see in that DH spot regularly other than Daniel Vogelbach? You know, I think the, the DH has become a, um, a, a, a rest position. I mean, we saw Lindor DH the other day. We saw so Nemo DH the other day, we've seen Tommy Pham DH, we've seen Vientos DH, you've got plenty of, we've seen Alvarez DH, you've got plenty of options in that spot. There's there's no one answer to that question, it's really a, a daily question based on who's on your roster. As long as Vogelback is there, once he's gotten whatever um, break that uh, they intend to give him, um, he'll still get his starts at DH against right-hand pitching for as long as he's there. Um, if he doesn't produce at some point, maybe they make a change. But um, I think for now it becomes a rotating spot. Howie, do you have an answer for that? About who deserves to be the DH? Or who you'd want, who, who you'd like to see there, yeah. Well, David Ortiz or Frank Thomas would be great, <laughs> but, you know, they're both retired, so we've got to work with, um, you know, around more contemporary parameters. I think the important thing about the designated hitter is that if you're going to, you know, ascribe a certain player – as you know one who has to be quote a left-handed dh if brett Beatty, you know continues to submit himself as an everyday player and, and vogelback continues to struggle i could see escobar getting more at bats as a left-handed dh now that's not his stronger side his stronger side is the right side but that's one option but more to the point it doesn't have to be an everyday thing as long as you've got enough versatility and, and the manager has enough maneuverability available to him to move guys in and out, up and down, in, you know, in the lineup with regard to the designated hitter spot. Uh, I can see them moving that around to, you know, don't forget Tommy Pham, too, is swinging the bat as well as he has at any time. And maybe it's coincidence, maybe it's not. Now Mark Hanna has come alive offensively somewhat. So, you know, th there are plenty of options there. It's just a matter of whether you want to, again, say, okay, you are the lefty DH or you are the righty DH. And that's almost unnecessary if you've got enough flexibility. Well, we just got a fan question that is perfect timing for this topic. Uh, Michael from YouTube said, why is Vientos getting such little playing time and not just being sent down? Gary? That's a really good question. Um, to me, um, the Mets would probably be better off 
um, sending Vientos down, um, given the playing time that he's getting right now. Um, and I think that's probably why they signed Luke Voigt to see if they could get him going in triple a and in a triple the first game and a home run the second game it wouldn't be shocking if sometime in the next uh, few days week that uh, that that move gets made that they bring up Voigt to play first base until uh until pete's ready to go again and send vientos down to get regular at bats so it's it's a it's a legitimate question for sure <laughs>